damn Kyle, you going off. Hold, hold on. What's good y'all? It's your boy Cam back with a YouTube video and today we're going to be checking out another Thomas Sowell video. Today we're going to be checking out Poverty as Squalor of Behavior. Not exactly sure what that means, but we're going to find out today. Um, let's get it. And if I'm talking weird, it's because I have a mint. Uh, let's get it. What does that mean? Poverty of squalor, as Squalor of Behavior. So we're gonna find out, man. The paradox of poverty in an affluent society is a paradox only to those who start with one, a preconception of an egalitarian world in defiance of history, and two, a disregard of the arbitrary nature of the government-defined word poverty. Now, we've already discussed point one. Mm. You've already established that, historically speaking, poverty is the norm, mm. and there's nothing like egalitarianism. It's spotty, particular economic progress is it's surprising in some mm -hmm. ways. Number two, the arbitrary nature of the government-defined word poverty. What do you mean by that? I mean that what, what we define as poverty today, well, there, was a, there was a Latin American scholar, a scholar of Latin America, he, he's not a Latin American himself, was saying that what we define as poverty here is the upper middle class in Mexico. Uh, most American... Oh my gosh. Families in poverty, as defined by the statisticians in Washington, and that's the thing I try to bring out. Regardless of what we think of when we think of poverty, what it really means is whatever those statisticians say it means. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and, and, and that includes uh, the great majority of people who are in poverty in the United States by that definition. Uh, they have microwave ovens. They have they have central air conditioning. I mean, I was in my 40s before I had a window air conditioner. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, wow. but the idea 40? of central air conditioning. Uh, most own an automo uh, 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 one motor vehicle or more, and 14% own two or more motor vehicles. Uh, Th this they have is simply, it is simply not poverty, not by any historical understanding no. whatsoever. Yeah, no, uh, the, uh, in, the, in the old days, particularly thinking about the Lower East Side when the Jews lived there, you know, that the... Uh, the, pop, the, the people were squeezed together in these tiny places. Uh, uh, today, the average American in poverty has more p space per person than the average European. Not the average poor European, the average European, period. Mm. And so all those things by which we've spoken of poverty in the past, those things have long since gone. But the other part of this story is that that doesn't mean they've got it made. On the contrary, yeah, yeah. they have catastrophic problems because the same mindset that has created the welfare state, the same non-judgmental philosophy has also led to a great deal of leniency toward criminals. And so you have runaway crime and people are living in fear. I'm sure that when I was growing up that we, we never had any, any of the stuff that uh, uh, people in, on, on welfare have today. Uh, but, you know, uh, I could you, Hold on, let's just test that. You grew up, as I recall, late adolescence to high school, you were in Harlem. Yes. Television in the house? Oh my God, no. Radio? Had, we, thought we, we thought we were a big deal, we had radio. <laughs> uh, car? Oh my, the, the thought never crossed my mind. Wow. Uh, when you were a little boy going to school, how many pairs of trousers did you have? I don't know. I okay. only wore one at a time, so. <laughs> <laughs> but you weren't getting J. Crew or L.L. Bean catalogs. Oh, on the mail. they were not. They they must have overlooked me somehow. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't in the right zip code. Man, so hearing how how things were in the past really makes me appreciate what we have now, man. What about what about? Uh, well, let me. Uh, you weren't hungry though. You were still well fed. Yes. Right? But but you know you mentioned about L.L. Bean. My wow, sister man. was visiting me from, from uh, the East Coast once and said, you know, the people in the ghetto would not right wear the kind of khakis you wear. I said, what's, what's wrong? I got these are dockers and what, what's wrong? No, they want designer uh, uh, things. I hear about the, the uh, uh, tennis shoes that are bought there. I mean, I wouldn't pay that kind of money for regular shoes. You know, uh, 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 Did you have enough money for books in the house? No, I, but fortunately I lived across the street from a public library. 
but but other but other than that, uh, I I don't know if I ever bought a book when I was growing up. Newspapers though. Newspapers. Uh, but at least have a library card. Was it considered? Oh dear, how do I say this? There's a place in your book where you talk about cultural the, the retrogression, cultural retrogression against uh, among African Americans, mm -hmm. and certain kinds of behavior. Called like, acting white. Acting white. Was it acting white in your day to go across the street to the line? Oh my freaking gosh! I could man, if I could, if I could, if I had a nickel, <laughs> every time somebody told me, "Cam, you act so white," I'd be a millionaire, man. Not even lying to you, man. It's like. I heard it all the time growing up. Cam, stop acting white. Cam, why are you so acting white? And I'm like, because I talk regular? Like, what's going on? Nobody ever said it. I heard it all the time. Cam, why are you acting white, bro? Huh? Okay. All right. So, I'm sorry, but you said you didn't have any of the things that... Or, they, or they'd be like, you white in a, a black dude body. I'm like, huh? Whoa, really? Really poor people have today. You were mm -hmm. making a point. In bro, if you understand, bro, you understand, man. And started but, but, but of course, uh, I, 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 I had a sense of security that you simply cannot have. And if you look particularly at the public housing uh, uh, Your project, neighborhood was safe. That's what you mean? Just, yes. Okay. I mean, I, I, I can remember more than once waking up at midnight and deciding I will go out and buy a I, a, a newspaper to see how the baseball, the baseball scores are, and so uh, uh, and the and the guy who was uh, who was selling them was a very small uh, elderly white man uh, uh, down down at the end of the block. Okay. Today, both of us would be taken into custody and sent in for middle <coughs> observation wow. for being out there in the middle of the night. So poverty in America today is not material want. It no. simply is not by the standards of. All time, yeah. all history, yeah. other places, yeah. it is not material want. It's poverty of the mind. Mm. It's poverty of policy. It's, it's squality of, squalor of behavior. Squalor of behavior. And how does that get corrected? Thus far, it hasn't been. Uh, one of the real problems, and this, this is not peculiar to the United States or, or to any group in America, mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, ethnic leaders, particularly leaders of groups that are lagging, are a major obstacle to advancement because their self-interest uh, is in keeping their groups isolated. And, they, and, and, and isolation has been tied in with poverty for all kinds of groups in all kinds of settings around the world. Al Sharpton versus Ben Carson. Yes. Al Sharpton is, is bad for African Americans. Yes. Is that what you're saying? But yes, but unfortunately, Al, the Al Sharpton types uh, have have been the, the rule rather than the exception for groups around the world. Back back in uh, 19th century uh, Bohemia, wow. uh, where the Germans again for a whole lot of uh, how do you know all this? Like I'm thinking the same thing. I'm researches. like this is an intelligent man. Like what the freak? He just be spewing facts, man. It's again for a whole lot of uh, how do you know all this? Like I was sitting here, I was like, it just it's like a memory bank in the back is he just be depositing it every day, Bohemia, every interview. Uh, where the Germans, again, for a whole lot of... Uh, How do you know all this? Let us know. My... Let us know, bro. The system. <laughs> huh? All right. How do you know all this? Because of my research assistant. <laughs> this man has research assistants, bro. Mm. <laughs> all right, go, oh, go ahead. 19th century Bohemia. Uh, the Germans had had all kinds. That's, that's op. That's op. Advantages that came out of history, which you could go into if you felt like it. Uh, but, for example, if you were an this man is overpowered with information. He has research assistants, bro. Oh my gosh. For in the early 19th century Bohemia, and you wanted to uh, go to high school, and, uh, and and you were a Czech you would have to learn German because there were no high schools in the Czech language until 1848. And so, that, but that was a condition common throughout Eastern Europe, that the Slavic languages became literate centuries after the German language did. And therefore, there was a huge buildup of knowledge in the German language that was not equally available in Slavic languages at that time. 
And so if anyone who wanted to become an educated person and go into the professions, they had to learn German. Now, you would think that the, then that the uh, leaders, if they were looking out for the best interests of their followers, would say, for heaven's sake, learn German and move on up. Mm -hmm. No, they, would have, they, would, they fought tooth and nail against it. Man, such a goat, man. Oh my gosh. Research. <laughs> wow. That's, this man, man. Oh man. Okay. Uh, that's the end of the video, man. Uh, if you have anything else you want me to check out by Thomas Soul, let me know, man. And subscribe so you're here when, we, when I check it out, man. Like I say, man, I'm, I'm just a sponge right now. At this point in my life, I'm a sponge and I'm just soaking up all this information, bro. And I love it. Uh, that's the end of the video. Draw a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what else I should check out, man. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.